thought we could go to the Nut Hutch, the vegan cafe, before we did the tour of the street art. You have been to Digbeth before. Um, you must have been to the Custard Factory. Digbeth Dining Club? No. Oh, people come from all over the world just for the graffiti walk. Really? Oh, just you wait. Imogen, what's this all about? Why are we here? Sid told me about Jeffrey's paintings. And, you know, I've got this art fest next week. Oh, you can't display them, because I've sold them all. Well, all apart from one. It's not about displaying them. What then? Come on, I'll show you. Oh, wow. Feeling inspired? <sighs> Jealous, more like. <laughs> I wish I was that talented. Talent comes in many forms. Well, I can only draw stick men. Like Lowry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're artistic, Valerie. I've always loved your sense of style and individuality. And anyway, art can be anything. As long as it's creative and passionate and, most importantly, personal. That's why I'm a firm believer in using art for therapy. Therapy? Yeah. Using it to address emotional issues like loss and grief. One of the projects that I'm working on next week is a community mural, and Sid thinks it would be really therapeutic for you to get involved. You'd be carrying on Geoffrey's legacy in a way. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>